Hey everyone, hope all is well. Welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to talk about uh, a question that a lot of working professionals ask me and the question is, you know, how should I decide where to do my MBA from? And that's a very relevant question uh, that people end up asking me in profile evaluation calls when they're looking at MBA, MBA in India, ISB admissions, IIMs, executive MBA abroad, uh, B-school admissions in HEC, NUS, NCR, LBS. US admissions, uh, Canada admissions. So I think uh, I'll divide it into a framework and I'll request you to watch the video till the end because uh, if you apply that framework on your own MBA decision and destination, then I'm pretty sure it will help you out uh, in narrowing down on a set of B schools that you should target. Uh, but before I get started, I'll just request you to uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't uh, followed our channel till now and if you found our videos and content to be helpful, your support really, really means a lot. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So in terms of framework, I think there are three things which really decide uh, where you should do your MBA from. Firstly, I think it's a very, very uh, important derivative and function of your goals. So goals simply mean your professional goals which is what do you want to do in life after B school? Do you want to get into consulting or finance or uh, product management or marketing or general management, or do you want to do something of your own directly? So it's both, both your long-term goals as well as short-term goals. So uh, I think uh, if you want to do consulting, which is management consulting, uh, then ISB is a very good B school. If you want to do product management, then ISB is a very good B school. If you want to get into finance and marketing, then I think uh, IIMs and SPGen and Bitsom, uh, these are better schools and FMS and Exelera as well. Uh, and they will really influence what kind of exams you write, right? So the first focus for everybody should be to figure out what do I want to do uh, after B school, which will really help you understand which schools should I target. Because uh, if we take consulting, for example, then Virtually all the consulting firms from the big three to big four to ZS to Accenture to Samagra to Dalberg to ADL to LEK, all of these firms visit the ISB campus every year. That's why ISB is a better fit for somebody who's a consulting aspirant. But when it comes to finance, which is Goldman, Barclays, Morgan Stanley, all these firms visit IIMs because they follow a two year model and it gives you a chance to intern with the investment bank first and then you get a PPO and then you get a full-time offer. So your goals will really help you decide and work backwards and narrow down on a good set of B schools for yourself. That's the first consideration. That's the first dimension. That's the first variable that you have to figure out before you decide to do, do before you decide to apply for a B school or write the CAT or GMAT, which is what are my goals in life? What do I want to do in the short term and long term? Uh, the second thing which I think really impacts this decision of where to go to B school is geography, which is if I want to build a career out of India eventually, I think it's best to do your MBA from India only, which can be a tier one B school. But if you want to settle outside or make a career in a global context or make a, make a career outside India, be it in Europe or uh, Canada, USA, Australia, uh, then it's best to go to that country's premier B schools. So if you're somebody who, want to, who, who wants to uh, build a career in Europe, for example, and uh, you are somebody who's a finance aspirant, so I'm marrying the first consideration with the second consideration here, which is finance aspirant and wants to make a career in Europe. Then it's very good to look at B schools like LBS and LSE because they are in the financial capital of the world, which is London, UK, and uh, it's, in, it's in Europe. So that's why, you know, when you make these three Venn diagrams of goals, location, and the third one I'll discuss right now, you will figure out that, you know, the schools which lie in the intersection of all these three components are the best schools for yourself. So location is the, is the second consideration. Uh, the third consideration, to be honest with you, is when do I want to do my MBA, right? So. Uh, if I want to do my MBA ASAP right after my undergrad and a lot of people have that uh, uh, consideration. I'm totally respectful of that. If you want to do your MBA ASAP, then 
it means that you will not go to ISB because ISB requires 20 months and 24 months of experience. Uh, you will not be going to uh, a B school abroad. And here I'm not talking about MIM, I'm talking about MBA programs. You will not go to a B school abroad because B schools abroad also require at least some work X, two, three, four, five, six years of work X. So if you want to do your MBA ASAP, which I am personally not a fan of, then uh, it leaves you with IMs, SPGN, BITSOM, uh, Masters Union, for example. Uh, if you want to get some work X and then do your MBA, which I personally prescribe to, I firmly believe that you should get at least one and a half, two years of work X uh, before you do your MBA. And I've made a video on that as well. Uh, it's in our playlist of uh, MBA admissions. It's, you know, when should you do your MBA? Um, if you get some work X, uh, then you have a lot of options uh, in terms of going to ISB, going to B schools abroad. So you have to decide on when should I do my MBA? Do I want to do it ASAP? Uh, then you're left with IMs in Indian schools. If I want to do it after some work X, then I'm open to ISB and other B schools in Europe and then in USA. Uh, European B schools typically start accepting people even if you have three years of work X. But in USA, it's typically five, five and a half. So it's ISB, then it's Europe, European B schools, then it's USA B schools in terms of increasing work X as an access. Uh, those are the three dimensions, which is location, goals, and when do I want to do my MBA? If you answer these three questions for yourself, you will figure out which B schools are the best for you. And I'll end the video with an example. Uh, let's say Sarthak is somebody who's a consulting aspirant, uh, but he wants to build a career outside India. He wants to get international exposure and he's okay to work for some time. He's okay to, uh, you know, get four or five years of work X. Then a consulting aspirant who is okay to get five years of experience and is looking to build a career outside India. For him, the best B school is NCAD, right? For him, the best B school is HEC. For him, a good B school is Darden or uh, Columbia for that matter or Chicago booth because all these schools which I mentioned two seconds back are very good schools for consulting Which is Sarthak's aspiration, right? So you uh, answer these three questions for yourself Or reach out to me and brainstorm on what should be the answers uh, To these three questions once we get those three answers We'll figure out which P schools are the best for us and when should I apply? What should I optimize for in my profile? Which exam should I take? What should be my target GMAT score? Everything is a derivative of the answer that you get in terms of which B school should I go to, which in itself is a function of goals, which are professional goals, location, and when do I want to do my MBA? I hope this helps you. Thank you.